afternoon guys my youtube channel is i am underscore stefan and guys i am sandy ground anguilla and um this is our clash of the champion boat race and i'm um, trying to bring it to you not live Hello. yes sir yes i got you so yes guys so today is the champ of the champs where all the boat races during the week this is the final uh finality finality whatever you want to call it the finale so yes guys there's a lot of music in the background so i'm gonna switch the camera around so you can see the boat races and i should be on a boat today that is supposed to be really comfortable and um I'm slowing down, the sand is so thick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and showcase you the boats for a boat race. As you can see in the distance, that is our local boat. These are the big boats. We have two different sizes. The first one is Speed and Comfort, Satellite, Justice, The Wizard, and the one at a distance is the tree and i do believe the ufo yes the ufo is over there and the wasp the wasp seal is not up so i don't think she's gonna be racing today guys the sun is so bright <laughs> i can't even see my screen Look how beautiful and tranquil these waters are. That clear. So the UFO will be sailing today. Her sail is up. And as you can see our boats here. What's up, man? So, this one here is the Justice. The wasp seal is not up. So, actually, they're actually on the boat. So, they may be actually racing today. The boat that is in front of us right now, the wizard, they're throwing up the sand. That is what put weight in the boat as well. And that boat has won nearly all the races this year, or uh, this season. But hopefully our Island Harbor boats, which is the Wasp and the UFO, Hopefully, they will send her home today. <laughs> it looks like there's a party boat over there on the tents. Under the tents. So, I'm surprised the crowd is not really here today. And I know it's still early. The small boats actually gone out and I can't even see them. I can't even see them. But the crowd hasn't reached to Santa Grung as yet. But I just want to introduce you to the boats. And the boat right here, UFO. Hopefully she can take it for the year. So, guys, that is the sound of the race beginning. As you can see, the speed and comfort is right in front of us, along with the justice. The satellite was way inside. Not sure why would they do that. And the wizard jump after a good start. The UFO slow on the takeoff. The Shen slow on the takeoff. 
the tree slowly take off. The UFOs jump gone. So if you hear me start to stutter, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> don't hold it against me. trailing. Justice is taking it away from the UFO.
Alice just went ahead and take a jump. And she's actually leading right now. This is August Sunday, Champ of the Champs.
said, no, we don't do that. And again, it's from the bricks of that. out now and you can see the satellite is overtaking these boats
coming back this shan. Look like this shan have a sail problem. Guys, the Shen just tagged and she's coming back in the race. It looks like the Shen decided to follow the race.
and uh, low, and we try to get them back to buy and then they decide to come along. So they are a good way to get back. But one of the kids got up and sit down with the side. So, speed of the race, speed of the cover, and we need to move on. I mean, come on, sir.
Shan was way in the back there. And she's running down the other boats really, really quick. And she's there. These are the boats right here. So she's not too far behind it. not too far from the stake I will show you the stake once the boat slow down so that's the orange stick right here that's the stick the boat is gonna go around that and there's a second one at a distance so once it goes through the two of them, it will turn around and head back on the wind. So as you can see, all the boats is falling in a line. And this is when the dog race is going to begin. I don't know if you can hear music in the background. There's a big party boat behind me. But as you can see, So if, if the 
I just touch that board, she's disqualified.
Thank you. 
hit it and it's unfortunate that an innocent boat is disqualified and it gives the boat that that should not be that should not be you can easily sabotage a boat just like that and maybe that is the intent but I don't think this speed and comfort should have been disqualified for the actions of the wizard She is out, which means it will be the real deal, and I do believe the UFO. That's unfortunate.
She is, guys. There's the winning boat. The real deal. Champ of the champions. She sailed today. She sailed today. Guys, I'm currently in Santa Ground, Anguilla. Guys, if you had never come to Anguilla, I implore you to come to Anguilla. I implore you to come to Anguilla. That is the winning boat. And that is the second boat coming up. I think that boat was actually disqualified, but I think they're gonna race and protest. I would, because it wasn't their fault that another boat hit them. So, but it rules is rules. So we're gonna see what transpire from this race. But yes, guys, I was talking to you about Angola. There's an easy way to get to Angola. You can fly from Miami straight to Angola. Uh, Miami, actually Fort Lauderdale to St. Martin. And the tickets is not expensive. But there's programs nowadays where you can go ahead and pay for your trip ahead of time. You can pay for it monthly. Say for instance, it costs around 300 something dollars from Fort Lauderdale to St. Martin. 300 something dollars plus another 50 or 60 dollars to get to Anguilla and you can pay monthly installments maybe three four monthly installments and 300 dollars four monthly installments guys it's affordable it's affordable so if the speed and comfort was disqualified that mean the UFO which is the next boat she would be second place and she's from Island Harbor. She's from my village. So this is Angola National Sport, guys. Very exciting. When you can see old folks getting together and just having a really good time. When you see women passionate about boat racing. There they go guys, the real deal, champion, champ of the champs, is she crossing the sun, but well, guys look how big this boat is, look how much guys on this boat, look at the young kids, there's a future generation of boat racing, look how much men in that boat, plus a lot of iron as weights, plus sand. So, 
So I guess we're gonna see what the officials say about this boat. Again, it's not fair that they disqualified for negligence of someone else. So This is another boat coming in. This is the satellite. And I know the lighting is terrible right now. So I'm gonna go over here to the UFO, who is technically second place boat, if the speed and comfort was disqualified. So you got all the drones everywhere. So yes guys, this is our summer festival. Carnival at night. Boat racing during the day. I'm sorry if you hear my shoes squeaking in the, um, the water. Speedboats heading out. I just saw uh, a uh, stingray just jump over the water. This is the um, Island Harbor crew. Is a UFO. UFO is from my village, Island Harbor. Island Harbor to the world. So, this is the crew. Yeah, Tommy. So, are you going to settle, settle, settle for second? Yeah, Barry. So, guys, the race is not officially over. This is the last two boats. The shen and the tree. But I don't know if they're gonna place anyway, or if they're gonna get any prizes. But this is the end of the race. And as you can see, the sun is going down, and we are in beautiful Anguilla. So the winning boat was the real deal, and technically, the UFO is second place. I don't know who's third and fourth, but... So the Shen came through the stake first, the tree second. But I think they hit, but I could be wrong. From this angle, it looks like they hit. And if they hit, they will be disqualified.